Alright, this is uh, Bob at the Sacred Cow Tipper, video number 5, debunking the August 21st, 2017 Eclipse teaching video by Steve Ciccolani of Discover Ministries. Okay, uh, we ended the last part about what is your faith then? Is it in the Word of God or is it into a lot of this fluff and stuff that exists out there? Okay, now Steve gave you the eclipse sign which is not in scripture I gave you the sign that Jesus gave uh, the sign of the son of Jonah and that we should keep our faith in the Word of God and the object of our faith is God number one in the Word of God number two or I should say there's Jesus is the word same thing okay okay now I mentioned I'm not a cessationist uh, back when nobody knew what the emergent church was but a handful of people God showed me when a minister handed me a book and when that book hit my hand I saw the word deception about this big uh, big big letters I saw deception the minister disappeared I it was all black and big white letters deception and in my spirit I, I heard the word deception almost like scream to me I never heard of the author before, I never heard of the Emergent Church Movement, uh, but I told the minister I would read it, and it took me two months to read a very small book, and anyhow, I was one of the first ones to expose that movement as totally false, and that that person was a false teacher. Since he came out, he's okayed gay marriage, uh, he's okayed a lot of things, and he uh, occasionally swears while being interviewed. I'm going to leave it at that. You'll have to read my whole article if you want to know more. So I am not a cessationist. God shows me things at times. But when these people see stuff and hear stuff every single day, you got to question it. And a lot of times if I read their prophecies, 95% uh, of what they said did not come to pass. That makes you a false prophet. There's nowhere in Scripture where it says you're still a prophet and that you could miss it. Okay? I am not claiming to be a prophet. Do, do not, I better say that right now. I'm just saying God has given me a few visions and dreams in my life to show me something, and I shared them with other people. I said, take it up to God in prayer. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it's from God, but take it up with God and see if it's true or not. Test it. I always tell people, test anything I say, anything I preach. Okay, we are all susp suspect susceptible to error okay now when somebody says thus say the Lord when the Lord has never said that's not right you just bl you blaspheme God's name because you said something God you called God a liar when it didn't come to pass okay and, I, and I'm sick of it I'm really sick of it I mean David Wilkerson before he died uh, God bless him I mean the tears that rolled off his cheeks warning the Christians in this nation and about uh, he saw all this. Uh, I think he was one of the last voices. There's still some men of God in America and the United Kingdom and elsewhere that have spoken out. But this has become an epidemic. And, you know, be mad at me if you want. I think 95 to 99% of these people prophesying today are not called of God. I believe their ministries are fake. Uh, you prophesy 90, 99% of the time wrong, you are not, you're not of God. Or you, you think you're hearing from God, and you need to repent and come out publicly and say, man, I've missed it a lot. I'm not going to be quick to say, thus saith the Lord anymore, unless I know that I know that I know that I know that He told me that. Because what you're doing is you're leading people astray, and as Hananiah, in the book of Jeremiah 29, God took Hananiah out. He gave Israel false hope, telling them they were going to be taken out of Babylon sooner than what God said. God said 70 years of judgment is going to be 70 years of judgment. Okay? Anyhow, Hananiah lied to him. Jeremiah, of course, was right. Uh, judgment came upon Hananiah, the false prophet. And let's not forget the, what was it, 850 false prophets that uh, Elijah went up against. Uh, the, the prophets of Baal and the prophets of Jezebel. God is not happy with people 
who say things in his name and he never said it. And that goes true to false teaching too. Okay? You got to come out publicly and repent and say, I was wrong. All right? And until we're humble enough to do that, you probably should not be ministry. I had a lot of false doctrine. And I taught some people wrong things in the past. I've repented of it. And I ask God every day for wisdom and to help understand his word and help me teach correctly. That should be all of our heart. We should, we should want to grow in God, not walk on eggshells, but we should want to grow in God and be faithful to the word of God and teach sound doctrine. If it came out since 1830, it's probably false. That's when almost every major Christian cult came out, uh, whether it was uh, Branch Davidians or Jehovah Witnesses or Mormonism, uh, false science, Darwinian evolution, age of the earth. I could go on and on and on and on. New, new thought, Christian science. I mean, there's so many of them. But uh, if it came out recently and it's a new revelation, quotations, a new revelation, there's something wrong because what you're saying is all these people in the past for 1800 plus years you have something they didn't have. You're saying the Holy Spirit failed them, okay? We're the ones that have gotten off doctrinally since the time of the apostles and the early church fathers, and they weren't even 100% perfect, you know? I hear people quoting Protestant reformers. They were right on on a lot of things, but they didn't. some of the things they taught didn't agree with the apostles and the early church fathers. Are you going to follow everything they taught, you know? So, so anyhow, okay, a lot of you that know me, I know you love me. Uh, I know you know I blab a lot. My mouth doesn't stop. But uh, this scripture always encourages me to keep trying to give the truth out to people. It's at Luke 6, 26. Woe or judgment, judgment unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Okay. A lot of you men out there are called to ministry. You've gotten off track. You need to repent. You need to get back to the Word of God. And I'm serious about this. Some of you, even around me, know who I'm talking about or who I'm talking to. And there's thousands, if not millions of you now getting into error and God has called you to a ministry to teach or to preach and you're getting off into all kinds of things and you don't even see that Satan has got in there and is trying to st stop the good work that God had started in you all right yeah I'm a little mad but you know what God is getting some testosterone back in this boy. I know I moved up into the country five and a half years ago. I'm worn out. But you know what? Some of you need to get some testosterone too. I'm trying to keep it clean here, all right? But uh, let's get off into Matthew 24. In these end times, we are told that many will be deceived. Matthew 24, 4, 5, 11, 23 through 25 because of following after signs and wonders that were not given to us by Jesus, the apostles and the prophets. The false prophet of the book of Revelation, guess what he's going to be doing? He's going to be dishing out signs and wonders. And then we got thousands out there, I call them mini prophets, people who think they're prophets. You're given even more signs and wonders, but yet, the, but yet you're teaching things that aren't even biblical. Okay? There's something wrong with that. You need to make sure that, uh, Paul talked about having another spirit. You better make sure you have the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit never, ever contradicts the Word of God. Because he would make the uh, God a liar. And the Holy Spirit is God. He's part of the Godhead. All right? Okay. <laughs> Jesus gave us plenty of signs in Matthew 24 of when he is going to return in the end of the age 
and all of them are happening right now, even right down to the race baiting. Matthew 24, 7, the word in the Greek there, I'm using it in its context, for nation, ethnos. Ethnos is where we get our English word ethnicity. For nation shall rise against nation, ethnos against ethnos, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Jesus even told us there was going to be race baiting. <laughs> I find that amazing, okay? How many signs do we need? He already told us the signs. The important thing is if you are God's child, and you're living right right now, and you're not living in an habitual, unrepentant sin, are you? Are you, my friend? Jesus said to repent and believe the gospel and his preaching. Some of you don't preach repentance. You say it's not part of the gospel. Jesus preached it. Peter preached it on the day of Pentecost. A changed mind, metanoia, will bring about a changed life. If you do not have a changed life, you probably have a false conversion. And you need to cry out to God. Because he hell is forever, my friend. Heaven is forever. You don't want to go to hell. The Bible describes what hell is like over two dozen times. Okay? So you need to get right with God. And I'm going to do one last video after this. Because uh, I have to piece this together. I'm, I'm YouTube illiterate and video illiterate. So I'm going to get back to you in a second here.